Good morning, everybody from the gardens. Can you see that wonderful donation in front of me? Those are all onions and some kale. So those will be getting planted into the garden soon. We are slowly plugging away. Don't mind the brown bags. <laughs> That's from the teacher and the kids picking up. Um, we are slowly getting the things into the beds. Uh, we've gone through a lot of the tomatoes today. We planted a whole bed of peppers. So here's our progress. We've got a bed of tomatoes here. I know they're not looking too happy. They just got transplanted. And then we've got another bed of tomatoes here. And I put the really tiny ones in the front. Uh, I think these are just going to be little plants. They're called robin tomatoes, which I'm super excited to grow. We did oh another bed of tomatoes here. So they're all different kinds. Uh, that was the one that we did yesterday. And uh, we did some snap peas over here, as well as another climbing bean. So those are all little snap peas. Planted a pepper bed over here. So all the peppers are planted, almost all the peppers. And then, oh, one more tomato plant uh, bed over here. So we've got some beefsteak tomatoes in here and some unknown varieties as well. So we'll see how they grow. I think there's some cherry tomatoes in there. And here, I'll bring you over to look at the radishes. Look how much they're happy. Oh my goodness, they really grew up. Wow, look at the row of radishes. They're so happy. That's so cute. Love it. All right, let's go check those strawberry plants. So far, I'm so happy. It's so nice to see everything coming and being planted and just getting into the garden beds. So here we are at the strawberries. There's going to be hundreds of strawberries as long as the birds don't get them. I don't know how to keep the birds away just yet. <laughs> I'm hoping I've got some kids painting some red rocks to make them look like strawberries. So I'm hoping that uh, that'll work. So nothing coming up in that lettuce section that was planted yet. We got a, oh, we got one little basil plant. I almost planted it with the peppers because I thought it was a pepper, but it was a basil plant. And then, oh yes, we got some tarragon too. That got planted. So our oregano has a wonderful oregano friend over here, which I think I might end up separating and bringing to the library next weekend. I was uh, asked by the library to come in and do a table and talk about the community gardens with the uh, locals here. So that's what I'll be doing next weekend. <sighs> it's so nice, guys, to see this green coming back into the gardens. I'm just, uh, I love it so much. I hope you guys are having fun and enjoy watching this as well. And hopefully you can learn some tricks or tips or just, I don't know, have fun watching a garden grow <laughs> if you can't garden or even if you have your own garden. Send me some tips or some ideas or oh, any tricks that you might have. I'm excited to get all these onions in and watch them grow with you. Ah, oh, this is going to be so great. I am still working on the other garden as well. Um, the garden beds are built. They are being filled, uh, but there's more dirt that needs to go into them. So anyways that's it for today guys i'll turn you around for a second here hi so yeah i'm super tired <laughs> super sore um but everything's getting planted here here's the garden beds or garden pieces that are gonna go in soon i have to split between two bed or two places right so um i'm trying to keep stuff aside that i can put into the other garden so that's it for today guys i will head out and i'll talk to you later bye if you ever see this in your garden, pick it. Right here is a black walnut, and it is transported usually by the squirrels, but you gotta dig down and make sure that you get to that root, or else it's just gonna keep spreading. So once you get down there, oh wow, he really dug it tight, didn't he? <laughs> He's trying to do a quick video. I know, it's really deep. Oh, there we go. Do you get the, there we go. Get the nut at the end. There's the nut at the end. <laughs> so see what happens, guys, is out of the walnut comes this tree. Take it out of your garden beds. 
All right, it's a weed. this one is called Burdog. It is a burr. Get it out of your garden if you see it. You want to dig down and get those roots so that you can get that plant out. So this is a burdock and you want it out of your garden. Oh, here we go, more hands. I got lots of volunteers helping me today, which is fantastic. No, no don't even try. Not yet. <laughs> no, no, the burdocks are very, very deep. Yeah, Ooh, I wasn't trying to pull, I was is. just moving it so I could see where, where it is. <laughs> <laughs> Look how deep that is. There it goes, good job. All right, I'm back at the gardens with some volunteers planting, and I just wanted to show you guys what we're doing here. We got some wonderful trays of onions in from a farmer, and right now we're putting them in rows. They only have to be about two inches apart, these onions. So we're planting them all, and then these will be um, storage onions so that people can have them for the, through the winter. And we're doing the whole bed, hopefully. So. What we're doing is we're taking a little trowel, making a ditch, separating the onions, and putting them in one by one. All right, when planting onions, these are gonna be storage onions. They're called Yankees. We take them uh, and separate them and plant them into the beds about two inches apart, and the rows are about four inches apart. We're gonna be able to fill this bed with hundreds and hundreds, or maybe not hundreds, but hundreds, lots of onions for the food bank. The garden's getting green again! <laughs> it's so exciting! Okay, so we've been going through the plants here. <laughs> it just looks like a big mess, but they're getting planted. So we did a couple more onions in here and we filled up two full beds with that donation of onions. So what we've got going on here, some more tomatoes. Lots of tomatoes. And then back here is where we did two beds of onions. So check it out. These are like storage onions. So they'll be able to be stored for a longer period of time. I can't wait to watch these grow. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys are excited, but I certainly am. I love seeing these gardens come back to green again. It is so nice. And I think I called these beets before, but they're radishes. Not beets. Anyways, here I'll turn you around for a second. Oh, look at the peppers. Aren't they pretty? All right. Hi, guys. I got my Gaia Green Organics hat on. I'm riding a little scooter right now. I'll talk to you guys about that more. But uh, that's why I got my toque on because it hurts my ears. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, the gardens are looking fantastic. I'm so happy to see these getting green again. It just it brings me so much joy. And I hope you guys will enjoy watching these gardens grow as I feed the community this year. Keep watching, guys. Bye.